What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Forest. So last episode, we made our first base, our mobile base, and it's freaking dope, and we're going to make it even more dope now. So what I need to do is I need to be able to get on the roof of this thing. Now, there's a couple different ways I could do that. I'm wondering if a drying rack would do that for me. Would I be able to get on the roof of the drying rack here? I don't think I can jump on top of drying racks. Uh, let me take a look. No. See, I can't really... I can't really jump on top of drying racks. No. Okay, so... So the drying rack's out. So what else can I build? Um, we could definitely use some storage of all kinds. Can we jump on water co water collectors? Will that allow me to get up there? Uh, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I'd like to put two out here. Should I put them like this? Like that? Uh, nah. I think I want to put them like this. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. It's a little bit in the doorway, but that's okay. Should be alright. Okay. And then another one right there. Alright, come on. Uh, maybe. Let's see, is that poking through? No, it's not. Alright, let's go ahead and make these. Alright, like I told you last episode, we do need to kill a turtle. And I see my first victim right there. We've got a lot of meat. We need to get that damn drying rack taken care of. I know we have a drying rack uh, right there. You know, on land. But the problem is that's not that's not going to work, man. Because I'm telling you right now. <laughs> turtle head. I'm telling you right now. Um, the, the, the enemies are going to attack it. I don't trust it. And they'll break it and I'll lose all my food. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get on the roof. Nope. See, I can't jump on that. That's odd. I thought I'd be able to jump on that. Oh, there we go. Now, is that something I can jump on repeatedly? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, what can we build up here? I want to build some drying racks. Oh, I could build them on the roof. Oh, my God. That is wonderful. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on this side. I'm going to want a couple of these. So, maybe we should put them right here. Like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right? Is that lining up? That's lining up pretty nicely. Alright, so we're going to want to put down two of these things. So let's put one right there. And one right... Come up. Work with me. Uh, no, that doesn't look that good. Hold on, let's do this. Nope. It's getting dark. Ugh, we're going to have to sleep through the night. Uh... Yeah, I kind of want these to line up, but they don't look like they're going to line up the way I want them to. Uh, so let's just put this one right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'd like to get at least one of these things built before nighttime. I know you guys can't see shit. Um, check this out. There's a world day, uh, world and day brightness and then cave and night brightness. Yeah, that doesn't really seem to do anything. Well, that, that is cave and night brightness, but it doesn't seem to do much. Maybe it's not technically night just yet. I'm going to stick with M131 so you guys can see. At least kind of see. Um, one of the cool things with this game is when you log out and log back in, all the sticks regrow and everything. All the stick bushes, which is dope. So we're going to go ahead and grab that stuff. And I am out of stamina. And I am starving. And that's not looking good. Let's, let's grab that rabbit off this thing. He might actually be dry by now. I don't know if there's a way to tell before you take him off, but... Going to go ahead and grab him, and he is dry. There we go. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and build those things. I'm going to try. I'm going to get away from the uh, island now. Uh, by the way, the way you go backwards is by uh, holding down the right mouse button. Forward is left mouse button. Okay. All right, we should be uh, we should be somewhat okay out here. I know you guys can't see anything. Um, I'm going to leave a note to brighten this up. Okay, there we go. And can I build this? It doesn't. I don't see that. Oh, there it is. All right, I don't want to build it on that side. I'll make it. Come on. Can I build it from down here? There we go. Okay. So what you have to do to, in order to get on, what I'm what I have to do in order to get on this thing is jump, and then push forward. Like that. Am I gonna be able to get to the one in the back when both of these are built? I think so. I'll have to kind of figure it out. This stuff's good, right? 
All right, it's edible, which means I'm not going to get as much from it, if it as if it was fresh. But that's okay. We got it all up there. Beautiful. Okay. You know what? I think I want a light down here, right? I mean, it's, it's kind of spooky down here. So what we're going to do is... Um, I, I probably don't have enough sticks, but whatever. Um, we'll have a light eventually. Um, do I want to put it right there? That's going to get in the way. Actually, it can't even be... Oh. Can't even be made here? Oh, that's interesting. It's because I don't have the... That's weird that I can't make a, a light on here. That's odd. I feel like I'm missing something here, but I don't know. I can't make a light. That's weird. There's other lights, though. We can make a... Um, if I can't make that light, I might not be able to make any light. So there is a... Those... The, the light that I just tried to put down, you have to light them every time. These stay lit. Oh, cool. All right, good. Because these are the ones I prefer anyway. Um, trying to think of where I'm going to build stuff and not put this in the way of things. I think what I'll do is I'll just put it out here for now. Oh, wait a minute. Can I put the ones on the wall? Hold on. Hold on. Or on the ceiling even. Oh, there we go. Now, will I be able to walk past that once it's built? You know what? I'll put it right here. That's actually a really good spot for it. I don't have any skulls yet, but once I do get skulls. And that other thing is sap. So, uh, we can get some sap by chopping down trees. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sleep through the night. But we'll save first. So, save right there. And sleep through the night. Let's do it. You don't want to sleep too early in the night, by the way, because it'll screw up your sleep schedule. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, I'm still hungry. Is that, that stuff's probably not done yet. I don't think there's... I think it changes, like, its look when it's done, but... I don't know. I don't even, I don't really like the idea of building another one here, but I definitely want two. The thing is, I'm just worried this thing's going to be in the way. So I'm getting quite hungry here. So what I think I'm going to do is um, I need to wait for this stuff to dry. I broke the other one down, by the way. If I need another one, I'll build it in another way. I don't think there's going to be too much I'm going to want on this roof, to be perfectly honest. I do need storage, but storage is probably going to be like, you know, on land because uh, the enemies won't attack that. All right. So let's go ahead and have this bar. And let's, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no water in there. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and have a soda. All right. So what I want to do is, um, right over here. All right. The ultimate part of this let's play over here is going to be a giant platform. I did some tests. It's going to be 800 to a thousand logs worth of a platform. And it's going to go from right there. Right. And it's going to come out here right in front of the boat. Come this way. And then go up over there. Okay? It's going to be freaking... How do I not... There we go. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if you're holding down the left mouse button to shoot your bow, you press right mouse button to un... I don't know. Undraw the bow. Uh, yeah. Undraw the bow. I'm sure that's the word. <laughs> so this is going to be a big platform. So what I want to do is I want to make a dock over here. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, I think next episode we're going to go into the caves for the first time. And we're going to go in there for the... I believe the axe, the modern axe, uh, which I think I know where it is. I'm going to do a little bit of research. And by research, I mean go back and watch some of my past videos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on it, but I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Uh, and it's going to make chopping down trees a lot easier. But for now, uh, we should be able to make a dock over here, you know, relatively painlessly. So let's go ahead and grab this sucker and come up here. And we're going to toss some more dynamite. It's going to be dope. Um, oh, we got some more blueberries. There we go. There's um, a blueberry pouch you can make. I don't remember what animal I need for it, though. I don't think it's deer. Yeah, deer is the water skin and the spear bag. The spear bag, I probably won't make the warm suit. It's just not really worth it. Uh, but the spear bag and the, um, and, the, and the water skin will definitely be something we're going to want. Okay, so do we want more log sleds out here? I think we do. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some more log sleds. Uh, I think we need to um, start thinking about combat, too. Uh, I would like to start killing some of these guys. I could probably kill with the bow pretty easily. What I like to do is I like to make a circle of happy birthday traps. There's all kinds of traps in this game. And my favorite trap, and really the best trap in the game, in my opinion, is the happy birthday trap. And that is right here. Okay? And what I like to do is I like to make a circle or a square of those. And then, like, make it impenetrable. And then have, like, a, a walkway over top of them going into the going into the middle. And then when I get attacked, I just go into the middle. 
And the enemies kill themselves on it all the time. I call it the bone zone. And the reason I call it the bone zone is because uh, it's basically for getting bones. Uh, bone, bones make the best armor in the game too. So it's something I'm definitely going to want to um, start looking at. Yeah, start looking at making the bone zone. I got I to gotta, like decide. I'd, I'd like to put down the ghost image of the giant platform I was telling you guys about. Um, probably not next episode. Probably the episode after. Uh, and then that way I can like see where it's going to go and then I have an idea of where I'll put the bone zone. The bone zone's got to be in a certain spot. It's got to be in a pretty flat area. Like really as flat as possible. Uh, and you know, and it's going to be pretty big. So the area's got to be relatively large. But it's also got to be close to my base so I can get to it uh, easily. There we go. Okay. If you swing with your, with your lighter out like this, you do like... Oh. That kind of landed on me and didn't hurt me. I wonder if trees can hurt you anymore. They might. I mean, they could have changed it for all I know. But maybe I just got lucky. Um, I've had, you know, I've had myself get, like, killed by trees before. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they changed it. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you, if you swing with your, with your lighter at, you do, like, less damage. I don't know if it's half the damage. But the idea is you're swinging with one hand, so you do less damage. This game's freaking dope. It really is. I mean... I don't, I don't use the term second best survival game ever made lightly. Uh, this could very well be it, though. Like I said, it depends. Like I said last episode, uh, it depends on how I feel at the time. You know, sometimes I feel like Empyrean's better. Sometimes I feel like this game is better. This game does certain things a lot better than Empyrean. Empyrean does certain things better than this game. But those are my two choices for second best survival game ever. And uh, in my opinion, it's one of those two. And right now, I'm leaning more towards the forest, but... You know. Ooh, aloe vera. Yes, you definitely want aloe vera. Aloe vera will allow you to make um, healing items. As well as if you if you get infected, you can just take the aloe vera straight up to cure the infection. Alright, here we go. Alright, what are we making again? Oh yeah, we're making a... <laughs> we're making a pier or a dock. Yeah. Uh, I, I just don't want it in the way. Look at that. My thing was invisible up there. I just don't want it in the way of the main base, which is definitely going to be way over there. So, I think there's actually a dock you can make in this game, too. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, platform, custom stairs, uh, da, 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 table, workbench, side table. I don't think it's under decorations. Maybe it is at the very end. Oh, there it is. It's in dock. It's, it's in the place with the rest of the boats. You can make a large raft. I don't like the large raft because it's not enclosed. That's why I like the houseboat better. And you can just make a small raft if you just want to get around. Okay. So, uh, I think this thing will be good right here. I'd like it to be... Oh, it's got to be somewhat close to the water. Yeah. I wonder if I can make stairs up to it. Eh, I should be able to. Okay. And then we'll just bring this thing way out into the water. There are sharks in this water. I don't know. I've never been attacked by a shark before. Just letting you know. Wait, can this not come out anymore? What the hell? The dock can only come out so many spots. Okay, that's weird. Alright, fair enough. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I mean, that's plenty of space, but... Maybe I can make... It, can I make another one connect to I kind of want it to go out farther than that. It won't lock into place, will it? Hmm. So should I... They'll, they'll be pretty much lined up. They don't look lined up, though. Let me just try and place this down really quickly. I'm just kind of curious. Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, so did that line up? Uh, it didn't really line up properly. I guess I'll just make the dock the way it is. I shouldn't be making a huge dock anyway. I don't have the resources to be chopping down all the logs and everything. Um, I just... I wish I could make that out farther. Maybe I can make it out farther after the fact. Why don't we save the game, and then I'll build it, and then we'll see if I can... Because I, I, I can't believe it only goes out at a certain amount of spots. I feel like I was doing... So, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm not sure what it is. So I'm just going to build what I can, and uh, we'll see if we can build... We'll see if we can add on to it after the fact. So I actually extended the dock, and it, it, it looks like it's going to come out pretty well. Uh, so let's go ahead and cut down some trees, get some sap. We could probably use some sap. Plus, this would uh, strengthen up my, my strength. <laughs> It'll make me stronger. 
part of the problem with, with mining with dynamite is um, you get pretty weak. And you might be saying, well, if you mine with dynamite, you, the dynamite respawns at that camp every time you reload the game. So you can just keep going back and getting it. So it's like, well, if you're going to you know, just use dynamite, what does it matter? What does your strength matter? Melee. Melee is going to be very important. Uh, I'm going to be going for a katana. And I'm going to want to be meleeing with it good. First thing, next episode, I got to write this down when I'm done here. Next episode is going to be getting the uh, modern axe. The episode after that is probably going to be putting down the giant platform. Okay. So that should be pretty good. Um, can we get this thing on there? Here, let's uh, let's pick up all these logs. Then we'll see if we can get this thing on there. And then I could just bring it. You know, I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't try and put this on the... Um, I shouldn't try and put this log sled on the dock because if you fall off, if one of these log sleds goes underwater, they're underwater permanently. You can't get them out. Impossible. They're there forever and it's really annoying. So, you know what? I'll just run the logs down there. The hell with it. I don't really want to, like, be bothered, to be honest. Do I have a log over here? I think I have 11, 12, and this will be 13. Unlucky 13. Yeah, I'm pretty superstitious. I, I wouldn't say I'm superstitious, but I'm definitely a little stitious. <laughs> Michael Scott. Michael Scott Paper Company. All right, let's go ahead and put this down. See how this comes out. It should be pretty dope. Apparently, I counted wrong because I'm going to have one log left over. So, all right, you see how that's all crooked and cockeyed and stuff? There's a way to fix that, but I need a repair tool in order to do it. So, I'm not going to be able to do it right now. But um, once I get a repair tool, I will be able to. Now, that thing looks... That thing lined up pretty well, though. Ooh. Feathers. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and pull this thing up to the dock. Now, this thing is right on the bottom of the water, so I don't know how well it's going to work near a dock. I've never actually used this thing with a dock, but I also wish I could turn around. Well, well I kind of can. There we go. That's pretty good. Back up a little bit more. And... There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. You see the way it pushes into it? Oh, awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, so we got a dock. It's freaking dope, man. So it's almost nighttime, but I think we've got a little bit of time to come over here and check out what's going on in this boat. The, um, there's a sailboat. Like, uh, there's a, there's a word for this boat. I can't remember what it's called. Damn it. Um, a yacht. That's what it's called. It's a yacht. So we're going to come over here and check out the yacht. We're off to a great start here. Um, this is, yeah, this is a pretty good start. I've gotten a lot done in a very short amount of time. Okay, and like that. And, yeah, close enough. Cool, didn't even get wet. So this thing's pretty cool too, because you can actually save in here. Uh, and sleep. Oh, I'm like, where's the save and sleep option? I was just getting screenshots, and anytime I do, if you guys ever want to turn off the HUD or the overlay icons, they're in gameplay right here. So there you go. So you could save and sleep, which is just awesome. Um, there's a there's a cassette player right there. I'm not going to take that because uh, it plays music. It's pretty dope music, but the thing is, if I put it on YouTube, I'm going to get hit with match third party content. Uh, so what do we have here? A picture, huh? Ooh, what is that? Oh boy, that looks scary. That yeah, looks pretty freaking scary. Okay, let's uh, grab some of these oxygen bottles. And some more food. Oh, ketchup and uh, ketchup and mustard. Beautiful. We got some booze. You can make Molotovs with the booze. And this is a locked door. So, I don't know what the hell's supposed to be in there. But, I don't know, there's something in there. Can we take that? Yacht. Uh, okay, some kids missing. So I'm missing kid. So there's that. And what do we have here? Another picture? Oh, what is that? I can't really see it well. Alright. If you get a picture and you can't really see it well, what you could do is you could bring up your book and you got the little light there. And then you come here into the pictures. Uh, that's the, the one picture. I know what that is, but I'm going to wait until we actually come across it. Where's the other picture? Hold on. Uh, do I have to click this? Huh. Oh, that's weird. Alright, guys. If you could tell me how to see the other picture, that would be wonderful. Because I'm not seeing it here, so... No, I don't want to make a campfire. Yeah, let me know how to get the other picture, because I'm kind of surprised I... I couldn't get it. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So, as we're out here, we should be safe. This is cool. 
This is freaking cool, man. Like, making the houseboat and having a mobile base out on the water is just freaking dope. Just dope. Um, I do need to kill somebody, though, because I need a skull. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But it's not going to be right now because we're going to have to sleep through the night. All right. So there's not much else I can do here. I'm just waiting to sleep through the night. So let me uh, wait until I can actually sleep. And then I'll see you in the morning because I'm not making a dark video. Man, this thing is so cool. Like, I'm so safe in this. Uh, I do think I would like to kill a cannibal, though. Because I'd really like to... Um, I'd really like to get, like, some lights up in here. Um, I can't I can't place down any of the um, of the standing torches for some reason. Uh, those don't take skulls, but the other ones do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the dock. We're going to eat something, and we're going to try and go get a cannibal. I'd really, really like to get a cannibal. That would be awesome. This is so awesome. Th you know, tree houses are cool. I'm not, like, saying anything against tree houses. But this is freaking awesome. Mobile base. I can see right there. One of my uh, water collectors has some water in it. So that's awesome. Okay. And boom. Beautiful. So we got some water in there. Okay. And some of our drying racks should be uh, full of meat. We'll take a rabbit. Oh, this is, this is just... This is just... <laughs> delicious. Just delicious. Okay. Uh, yeah, there it is. I was like, "Where's the drying rack?" I put it over there. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna hunt for somebody. I think we need to find someone to kill. And uh, I'm not really sure where to go, to be honest. I guess I could just make my way. By the way, you see the flag right there? You know, you know, what flag that is. That's the first one I put down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on over here and we're gonna kill anyone we come across and take their skulls. And we need to burn the bodies in order to get the skulls. Uh, will we burn the bodies right on site? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, basically, what happens is when, when you when you kill some of the baddies, uh, you basically you could light. There's a couple different ways to light the, their bodies on fire. Um, I'm gonna choose to just make a a little fire. I think the fire is pretty cheap, right? Yeah, yeah. For like a couple sticks, I can make a fire, and then you just dump the bodies on the fire. You can also wrap your axe in um, cloth. And then you can light it on fire like that. And that's another way you could burn the bodies. Oh, these are their effigies. See? Got like uh, heads and stuff. You could break these and get... Oh, I just got a skull. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot you can get skulls like this. So, should we still go out of our way to kill somebody? Let's get that deer. Make a spear and get the deer. Okay, you're done. You're done! I am lethal with the spear. There we go. I got the spear back. There's some kind of animal running around. I'm still going to have to hunt more rabbits, by the way. Um, just letting you know. Okay, did I get everything? I got the meat, right? Yeah, that's what I really wanted. I kind of want to fight someone now, but there's not much reason to, to be honest. Um, Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the cannibal camp. If there's people there to fight, we will get into a fight. And if there's not, I will just go home and call it a video. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find people. We're gonna find cannibals here. This uh, cannibal camp usually has quite a few. Oh, there they are. You see them? They're not quite active yet. Let's see if we can snipe one. Okay, here we go. It's about to get real. They're running away? Seriously? Oh, I got him right in the head, dude. Look at that. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Where is it? It's right in his nose. Like, right below his nose. That was an unbelievable shot. Alright, I'm going to take this guy home. Let's take him home. We'll burn him at, we'll burn him at our leisure. If they follow me, then I'll destroy them. But if they are smart, they will not. Actually, I still got to get stuff here. Never mind. Never mind. We're going to do some... We're going to do some battle. What's up, bro? Damn it. Got him in the shoulder. And that one's in the face. See? These freaking arrows are legit. Now I want to keep the bodies together. Because I am going to burn them. Okay. Anybody else? This looks a little too bright, right? Let's put this back down to normal. No, it looks kind of washed out. That's pretty much normal right there. 
This contrast is normal. Nah, everything's normal. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of a, it looks like a little bit of foggy day. All right, whatever. Let's make ourselves a fire. Let's light the fire. And we'll put the bodies on them and then, oh. Where'd that come? Oh, there you are. Headshot. What's up, bro? These guys seem uh, a little tentative. I'm not really sure why. I know, like, the AI has some really interesting, like, gameplay mechanics. Like, if they see you in armor... Dead. Like, if they see you in armor, they'll take that as you want to fight. And they'll be more they'll be more apt to attack you. Uh, you can also like cut up their body parts and put them in like um, all different kinds of arrangements and stuff, and then make effigies. Although I don't really know what that's good for. I don't know if it scares them off or pisses them off. So, <laughs> all right, we're just gonna let those bodies burn up, and then we're gonna loot them. Uh, basically, what's gonna happen is they're gonna pop into bones. And while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and grab some more dynamite. Let's see if we're full on drink. Uh, we've got what six, seven. All right, so we're not quite full on drink, so we'll grab some of this. I'd also like to grab some more rope while I'm here. I'm not leaving here without four rope. Gotta take cloth. Cloth is important. Uh, that's two rope. Th uh, that's still two rope. Cloth. And three and four. Beautiful. Awesome. Hey! Oh! 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 Nobody else around here. Oh, there's somebody over there. All right, I kind of want to get out of here. I've killed enough. There's all the bones. Um, I can't do anything with the skulls because I already got a bunch of skulls. That's fine. Now I'm full on bones. So what you want to do with the bones is you put them all in the middle. And then you put all the cloth in the middle. Right? And then you just click. And then you got bone armor. Click the bone armor to get off the, the mat. Click the bone armor. And there you go. And then you right click on the bone armor. No, left click on the bone armor, and now you have armor. And bone armor is really strong. There's only one armor that's stronger, and, um, well, I'm not going to talk about it because I want it to be a surprise. Okay, we got everything we need. I'm going to head home. Cool. All right, so next episode, we're definitely going to get the modern axe. It's going to be dope. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Don't forget, guys, if you want these videos to be daily, I'm all about it, about it, but it's got to get views. Um, I want to know you guys want to see it. Le you know, get the likes up there, leave comments, and, uh, you know, watch the videos as soon as you can. Because I usually judge the videos on, like, the first few days that they're out. So, and I would love nothing more than to do more videos of this game. So I hope it does well. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.